Good Friday morning, YouTube. How are you guys doing today? So, I was looking at a news article that I found very interesting. I want to share it with you guys. There has been an original slave Bible uh, found, and it is on exhibit uh, in the Washington Museum. So, what's different about this, the slave Bible, is it pertains to a regular King James Version's Bible. What makes it different is that a whole lot of the passages, a whole lot of books and passages were taken out of the Bible. I'm going to, they were uh, taken out of the Bible uh, in order to instill obedience uh, from the slaves. Um, they, uh, and they also took uh, all the passages and uh, and. Uh, and books out of the Bible that had anything anti-slavery. Uh, like I said, in order to uh, kind of legitimize slavery in the minds of the slaves. And also the first time that slaves, as a matter of fact, uh, our people were taken from the motherland. We had never heard of Christianity. So they took away our religion, our spirituality, should I say, uh, and replaced it with this Christian uh, bastardized version of the King James Bible, uh, all in order to make us think that we are supposed to be subservient and that we are supposed to be in this position. Anyway, let me listen. Let me let you listen to a little bit of this article and uh, this interview. I'm sorry. Um, and I will come back to close. Very interesting. Inside Washington's Museum of the Bible, a single volume that is like no other, the so-called Slave Bible. Remarkable, not for what's in it, but for what's not. So about 90% of the Old Testament's been removed, and about 50% of the New Testament's been removed. Uh, to put it another way, a normal King James Version has 1,189 chapters in it. Uh, the Slave Bible has only 232. Missing are chapters and verses that might have encouraged uprisings. Book of Exodus, redacted. No story of Moses demanding Pharaoh, let my people go. Gone is Galatians, and the verse, there is neither bond nor free, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And no Jeremiah, woe unto him that useth his neighbor's service without wages. What they've left in are verses such as Ephesians 6, 5, which is the famous verse, slaves be obedient to your master. Looking at this Bible, it's hard to tell that anything's been taken out of it. That's correct. I mean, it looks like a normal book. For many enslaved Africans, this would have been the first time they were exposed to the Bible. A Bible selectively edited to instill obedience, using religion to underpin the horror of slavery. When people encounter this exhibit, what lasting impression do you want them to leave with? Well, we want to pass the message on that may this never happen again. Uh, the Bible itself is a, is a whole book. It's not one that you get to carve up and use this piece or that piece. The slave Bible designed to repress rebellion, but it didn't work. Enslaved people in the Caribbean constantly fought against slavery until emancipation. I think it's very relevant to understand our history. Not just American history, but our African-American history, our roots and how we got to this point. A dark chapter in the history of the good book. Jeff Bennett. Wow, I found it fascinating. I also found it interesting in the interview that they, that they said... Um, the the bastardized version of the King James version of the of the Bible uh didn't stop the people in the Caribbean from fighting uh for their freedom while they were enslaved. Uh that is also true about us here in the Americas. Many there were many, many uprisings and those stories of the uprisings have never been told. They have been whitewashed. You only hear about a couple of them, like Nat Turner, uh you hear about people like uh Harriet Tubman uprising, uh, you know, the underground werewolf, but you don't hear uh about the stories of the many, many, many thousands of uprisings that were uh, uh, uh you know happening on a daily basis pretty much the whole time that our people were enslaved they fought for their freedom and i found it interesting that they didn't mention that they also i found it also that they didn't mention in the article and i know it was only uh, a two-minute interview a little clip of it uh but also they didn't mention the fact that uh our religion our spirituality and our religion uh comes from 
Africa comes from our ancestors. They are uh, every other religion is simply Christianity, uh, Catholicism, uh, you know, uh, Muslims, uh, the Jewish religion. All of those religions, uh, the genesis of all those religions uh, is in Africa. Okay, we were the first people that had any type of religion or any type of worshiping of the God or and and. As well, the lower gods, the lower G gods. We were the first people, and uh, our spirituality was stripped away, watered down, uh, bastardized, and manipulated. And I also, uh, I was, just, I found it fascinating uh, that they didn't mention that. Um, I just, I just found this, but to find a, a slave Bible in such good condition, uh, where a lot of this stuff was destroyed, uh, because they didn't want nobody wants. Uh, the world to even remember, you know, even even in schools, they're trying to water down uh, the the horrible effects and the horrible trauma that our people endured for over four hundred years via chattel slavery. They want they want the world not to remember that, uh, but for and 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 also they don't want the world to know uh, that we are the first. Okay, and so when you see things like this, I always find it fascinating that they never tell the whole story. So I want to share this a uh, little quick video with you guys to let you know, um, uh, you know, the trauma from even. Uh, giving our people a, a book, a watered down version of Christianity, uh, that is a part of the trauma uh, in the in the um, and really the infighting that we have in the black community in particular. Because if you ever heard the really the heard of the Willie Lynch letter and you've read it, you would know what I'm talking about. I don't have time to go into detail, and you don't want to hear it anyway. Just Google the Willie Lynch letter, and you will see why we do what we do and why we treat our people the way we treat our people. And, and even when it comes to religion, there are over 500 different sects of Christianity. And when I say sex, I don't mean S-E-S, I mean S-E-C-T-S, as in over 500 different types or groups uh, of Christians. Do you see what I'm saying? And when you hear a lot of black people afraid to hear about any other religion or spirituality besides Christianity, there is a reason for that. And the reason for that is that the trauma from child slavery is still, even to this day, uh, encoded in our DNA. And we and, and, and when we, we uh, hear about certain things, about anything other than of the Christian version of God, uh, we rebel against it, and we have and we have trigger warnings encoded in us, downloaded in our DNA to rebel against any other thing uh, except the Christian version of what they say God is, and what they say God does, and what they say we are supposed to do. So anyway, that is the reason why I want to share this with you guys. Uh, let's get this comment this conversation i'm sorry started in the comment section below let me know what you think about this finding it's very interesting and i would love to see it for myself in the meantime you guys have a great day you guys have a great weekend and i'll talk to you in the next one bye bye peace